Hello, everyone. My name's Mary Lou Blakesley, and this is Meet the Ocean Encounters. Let's meet the Ocean Encounters. <laughs> meet, 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 meet the ocean. It was 1991. I was living on Cape Cod at the time in the small town of Wellfleet, beautiful little village, old fishing village, and one of the Northeasters was coming in. All the weather reports were saying this was going to be a really big storm, and it's one of my favorite things to go out to the ocean edge and watch the huge surf hit the beach. So the storm came, and it was almost like a hurricane, pieces of leaves flying all around the town. We got in the car and drove out to the beach, went up to the tallest dune, which is only about 100 feet above the water, and looked out. The wind was so strong, I put myself on an angle, and it completely held me up. It held my entire body weight up, just the strength of the wind. But looking out over the ocean, I saw something I had never seen before. And that was that the ocean, instead of being 100 feet below the dunes, was only about 25 feet below the dunes. And it was white, solid white foam. As far as you could see, there was no blue ocean at all. It was such a storm and had been moving that water so much that the foam created was was tens of feet thick, maybe 20, 30 feet thick. This storm was so big and that frothy ocean was so thick that the reports came out that it actually wasn't one storm. It was three storms that had combined. This storm was so momentous that there was a book and a movie written about it. Maybe you've heard of The Perfect Storm. As I was watching this foam smashing up against the beach and eroding away the dunes, Other people arrived, and one of them said that the whales, which were having trouble breathing out in the ocean, had come into the bay side of Cape Cod. It's not that far, particularly from where we were. So we got in the car and went over to the bay. We were in Truro at this point, and we went to the post office. And the post office is right on a river. And in the river, a pod of pilot whales had come up, trying to find a way out of the foam. And there they were, all squeezed into this narrow river. And people were standing there, not more than 10 feet from them, watching these pilot whales. When all of a sudden, one of them reared up and did what's called spy hopping, where it puts its head up above the water, and it looked right in my eye. And I could just feel tingles go all the way through me. I didn't know it at that moment, but that was a moment that changed my life. Because that was a turning point where I went from being a starving artist painter to being a painter who was also a naturalist. And that began the rest of my life's career as a naturalist. Meet the Ocean is produced by Paul North and Andrew Gettings, with sound design by Kelsey Anderson. Special thanks to naturalist Mary Lou Blakesley for her tale about pilot whales. You can find more educational content, podcasts, and ways to donate to our nonprofit and outreach at our website, meettheocean.org. We thank you for listening, and until next time, may the salt water be with you.